It's week 28 of the 52 week art journal journey. I noticed something after putting together the second recap clip reel I posted on social media during week 26. One of the clips was of a page that wasn't actually a prompt, just in my art journal. I decided to rectify that. So with a few tweaks, here we are. The first thing you will want to do this week is cover your work surface. You will need acrylic paint, purple, blue, and a black. You will also need white paint a bit later, a flat paintbrush, a damp piece of kitchen sponge, a paper scrap slightly wider than your page. Brown packing paper is ideal. Scissors and a glue stick. The first step, if you are using inexpensive crafty acrylics like me, is pour a couple of lines of purple paint in the lower half of your paper. Then a generous line of blue about two thirds of the way up. My brain went a little sideways and I forgot I didn't originally spread the paint with a brush before using the sponge. If I had, I could have avoided the harsher line I had to adjust to save a smoother gradient. I used my sponge to start blending these before adding my black paint along the top. I've only used the sponges that come slightly damp and wrapped in plastic, then dry out. If this is the type you're using, you will need to wet it. Wring it out pretty well. You don't want it leaving water in your paint. Just softened enough to effectively blend the paint. I've heard you should use a soft sponge dry. If you find you're transferring too much paint from one color into your other, change sides or edges and rinse as needed. You can also use multiple sponges. Add a thinner line of black along the top and keep blending with your sponge until you're happy with your gradient. Then set your dusky sky aside. Choose which long side of your scrap paper will be toward the top of your page the top of your mountainous horizon. Tear accordingly. When you are happy with your craggy or smoother mountaintops, crumple up your paper. Open it back up without smoothing it too much. Apply a decent amount of black paint and a bit of purple. I went a little overboard and made a bit more of a mess than usual, but this is where the paintbrush comes in handy. Spread your black and purple paint out to fully cover your mountains. Crumple up your paper mountain range again. If, like me, you put on too much paint, give your crumpled paper a bit of a squeeze. Yep, messy. Paint drying time is a good time to find a good mountain quote to add to this week's page and think about how you'd like to incorporate it. The entire time I was making this, the phrase, well, lyric actually, kept going through my head was climb every mountain. Though it's been some time since I last watched The Sound of Music, and at the risk of offending some of you, I'm not a big musicals fan, but I think I'll run with it. Because we all have mountains, challenges, things we need to face and overcome. And that's the focus of this week's words. They can be as prominent or hidden as you'd like them to be. If you'd like to have them completely personal and hidden, you could even write them in tiny letters behind where your mountains will stand. If you have a white pen, you can write on your mountains or use white paint or write with white or a color that will show up in your sky. You can write or print out something on a separate sheet of paper or cut something from a magazine. Today's small art is about inspiring yourself to keep climbing. Feel free to share on social media if you'd like to inspire others. Be sure to tag me on Instagram, Melinda Van Rye, and use the hashtag art journal with Melinda if you'd like. I would love to see what you come up with. If you'd like to share in a smaller safe setting, Email subscribers are invited to join the Art Journal Journey private Facebook group. You can sign up in a link in the description. Before we glue on our mountains, we're going to give ourselves a sky full of stars. You will need white paint and a little bit of water. Your narrowest paintbrush is best. 
My sky also has a moon. I didn't intend to paint a moon, and it probably would not have been full if I'd wanted to paint one. But this is an example of making the best of an oops. Somehow, when my paint was still quite wet, I, in my less than gracefulness, dripped water on it. It's a bit oddly placed, but yes, we will join Bob Ross in chalking it up to a happy accident. What you do or don't have in your sky is up to you. Maybe you will want to remind yourself that there's always something to reach for in the struggle of the climb. Wet your brush, pick up some paint, and then add some more water. I will say that making your first splatter on your surface protector instead of your page will probably save you from what could be seen as oddly oversized stars I ended up with amongst my others. When your stars and mountains are dry enough, it's time for our trusty glue sticks. Glue your mountains to the bottom of your page and cut off any overhang after your glue is dry. Thank you for joining me for another small art and journaling prompt. I appreciate the opportunity to encourage you to reclaim your creativity and establish a healthy habit of creative self-care through art journaling. I will be back next week with another video. In the meantime, enjoy making your mountain nighttime sky. You could also choose to go a warmer color route and create a sunset. But I really rather like the night sky with the stars. You can also check out past videos at the link in the description. If you found value in this video, please like, share, subscribe. And I always love to read any comments about how your art is going and what creativity means to you. I am so glad you are taking some time for creative self-care.